There's a sparring session between um, Javante Tank Davis and Tifima Lopez. Uh, this took place uh, many years back. Uh, Javante is, I think, 18 or 19, and Tiafimo is, I think, 15 or 16. Um, but these guys are still both prodigies. They're still highly skilled f f for even for this age. So uh, let's break it down. I So this footage starts kind of right at the end of a round, kind of weird timing. Tio goes to the corner, and his dad gives him advice immediately. Listen to me. He don't want to box. He don't want to box. He wants to make it a brawl, bro, so you, you got to just move around. All right, so both guys start, and right off the bat, you see Tifimo leaping with a straight right. Let's look at that again. He leaps in, and boom, catches him. It lands, it lands slightly blocked, but lands enough to even knock Javante back a little bit. It's a good start. Now Javante immediately is backpedaling. Um, remember, now Javante was three years older, and at the time, that actually makes a difference. You know, the difference between a 15-year-old and 18-year-old is big. So, Javante, I think, is doing what we call in boxing, moving around with the guy. Not going too hard, knowing he's older, knowing he's more experienced, not trying to kill Tiafimo. But here, Tiafimo um, still has some great skill. So, Tank is circling, circling. And now he's backing himself into a corner. He stops, waits. Tiafimo throws a test jab, another test jab. And then Tio fires a one-two. But let's look at that again. I think Tank picks it off. Boom. Tank right there picks it off beautifully. Um, now he's still in the corner. Tiafimo throws another jab downstairs. Gets close. He's feeling out Tank. Tank's just waiting there. On, whoa. And now Tio throws a real fast combo. Let's check that again. Oh, looks like the first two punches were eluded. And then Tank spins out. Showing very good defense from the southpaw. Throws another jab, it's picked off by Tank's glove. Now Tank again back himself in, into the rope. Eludes another jab. Tio throws a lead straight right. Oh, Tio throws a nice combination. Let's check that again too. Tio throws a, two distracting jabs that don't land. And one downstairs and then comes upstairs with two shots that land. So what he's doing there is he's able to distract Tank with the shots downstairs and coming up top. Classic move in boxing. Now they're again in the ropes. Tank is again waiting on the ropes to see what Tio got. And let's check again what just happened. Another, another distraction by Tio. Then he goes down. So he's doing a lot of the distracting. And then he's able to pick off Tank's counter and hit Tank with the jab. So Tio's looking pretty good, but obviously Tank just replying now to Tio's dad. Tank is definitely not going all out uh, against the younger, the younger fella. Here we go. Now Tank's being a little more aggressive. He's stalking Tio more. Maybe they like the combination just landed on him. And he gets him in the ropes. He's still more intimidating him now. Oh, Tio throws a one-two. Tank moves out the way. Tio throws another shot. Tio's shooting shots to the body. Hits hits him with a good jab. Now Tank is throwing now. Uh, boom. So he just landed. Let's see exactly what he did. He threw a range finder with the first punch, threw a distraction hook, and then shot that straight left to the body. So he's kind of doing back to Tio what Tio was doing to him earlier. Now the, the clinching. The clinching. Okay, so right there, watch this. Tank didn't like being hit in the back of the head. Tio does right there. Tank, does, that's a real no-no in boxing. Tank clips him once. First hard shot he throws, and then clips him again. Hits him in the back of the head. Telling him, you know, little, listen, young fella, chill. Ooh, now there's a good combination. They just both went at each other. Let's see what happens. All right, Devante, Devante blocks that first shot. Tio does land a straight left, and then they both land left hooks on each other. And then at the very end, boom, Tanks hit him, hits him with, with, it, with, with an out jab, which is important. A lot of fighters should do that. After a combination, throw a jab when the guy's stepping backwards. Boom, Tio lands a good jab right there. Oh, and now Javante throws a nice combination at him. Let's look at that again. He comes in. He throws the two body shots and clips him with the with the hook upstairs. Looks pretty good. Now Tio grabs him. And Javante's grabbing him back, actually. Now Javante's holding onto his hand, as you see right there. And that he won't let go of his hand. A little wrestling. Now Tio looks like he's getting annoyed. So now he starts hitting Javante in the back of the head numerous times. Javante throws a little back punch there. 
uh, and they start fighting. So now, that's a real no-no unboxing. Back of head shots can cause brain clots, can cause people to, to get seriously injured and die. Well, now Tio jumps on him with a nice combo. Let's check that again. Tio comes in, throws the two right hands. After throwing the first right hand downstairs, he throws the other one upstairs, which Tank didn't expect. And because of that, he was able to land two more shots because it kind of, it was it was a different rhythm. Now, Tank lands a counter shot right there afterwards, which is nice. But Teal gave Tank a different rhythm. That's why he was able to land these shots. So now after those rabbit punches, uh, somebody, a uh, coach came in. Rabbit shots, rabbit punches, as we said, are taken real seriously in gyms. You should not do that. Somebody can get really hurt. Goes against the code of ethics and spawn. And in fights. All right, there's Tank throwing a, a nice straight left of the body. Boom. And now here they both pick shots off. But let's check this out. Teal blocks that. Teal blocks the body shot from Tank. Tank blocks the jab. Tank slips. Tank throws a counter that Teal blocks. And then Tank throws the distraction jab up top and nails him with another straight left to the body. That seems to be the bread and butter for the sparring. Goes Mike Tyson on him here. Two body shots, hard hook to the head, and then finishes off with a seriously hard right hand that wobbles his feet. You see him stumble there. Oh, and then again, Tank finishes off with a hard straight left. Let's look at that again. Throws a distraction hook and boom, clips him with a really hard straight left Mike Tyson style. Uh, this was the first time the Tank really went at him, and Tank does resemble Mike Tyson. There's a lot of comparisons to Tank and Mike Tyson early on, um, and you see it right there. Uh, Tank is more of a boxer. He doesn't have the, the custom auto style, the bobbing weaving that, that I learned, um, but still. Uh, you definitely see it and when he throws heat behind those punches so that concludes the sparring it was pretty good work again let me reiterate um tank was was uh, was only 18 19 teal was only 15 16 now they had both had amateur extensive amateur experience up to that point here but they were still kids but there was a clear example of move of working with a fighter uh, moving around with the fighter they call so that's when tank the more experienced one the older one doesn't go all out on a, on the younger Tio, but the problem is Tio was very skilled and i went through this when i was fighting sometimes you go in there with somebody more experienced they're supposed to work with you but when you start clipping them they they get a little embarrassed and they realize well i gotta i gotta put my foot on the gas because these kids can fight so uh that's what was happening in this sparring session both guys did great work but you saw when Tank put his foot on the gas, he was he was you know a few levels above. But if they fought now, especially after Teal's last performance against Josh Taylor, and 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 what um, Tank just did with Ryan Garcia and all the people he's fought, it'd be a different story if they fought now. Who do you guys think would get the better of the sparring, or if they had an actual fight, Tank and Tiafimo? Who do you guys think would win, and how do you think it will go? Let me hear it in the comments. Hey guys, please subscribe and smash that like button. And if there's any fighters you want us to interview or anything else, any questions or comments, hit us up, we're here for you.